Is part of Donald Trump's solution for COVID-19 something that once was referred to as the final solution? Check it out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. I want to get into uh, this issue of herd immunity. We, if you caught uh, Donald Trump's town hall last night with George Stephanopoulos on ABC News, um, George was basically, you know, he said, well, what are you going to do about the virus? And, and Trump said, well, it's just going to go away. And George was like, well, how does that happen? And Trump was like, well, you know, when enough people get infected, you no longer have the disease spreading. It's called herd. And he started to say immunity and then realized you can't use that phrase. That phrase is like, you know, uh, you know, it's just a word you don't say in polite company anymore. You know, what was it, Hancock, Hitchcock, whatever his name is, the, you know, the, uh, the uh, health minister of the UK had used that phrase for a while, and Boris Johnson had used that phrase for a while, and they just got trashed for it. And by the way, because they, you know, basically pissed away months of time doing, trying their herd immunity strategy and killing thousands of people in the process, now the UK is going back into lockdown because they didn't do it right. And they never did the extensive testing and contact tracing. See, the problem is that once you have an infection level above a certain threshold, and that's going to vary depending on geography and population density and the size of the country and how, t how porous the borders are. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of variables here. But basically, once your infection level goes above a certain point, contact tracing and, uh, and testing become damn near impossible. I mean, you can still test, but contact trace? Oh, you know, okay, you just tested positive. Who have you seen in the last two weeks? And you discover that, hey, 20% 20, 20 of the people that they've come into contact with are infected. So you don't know where it came from. So the strategy that the UK employed and the strategy that the Trump administration is employing right now are going to make it really, really difficult for the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, or even Boris Johnson if he sticks around, or the next President of the United States, or even Trump if he wins another term, or steals another term, I mean, let's be honest about this. Um, but in particular, if Joe Biden is President, it's going to make it very difficult for them to contact, to test and contact trace their way out of this, because so many people will be carrying the virus. And this is, I believe, an intentional strategy on the part of the Trump administration. You will recall back in April and May and June, those of you who are longtime viewers or listeners to this program will remember very clearly my saying over and over and over again, it is obvious to me that these guys are pursuing a herd immunity strategy. That whole thing, everything shifted on April 7th, as I've, as I've pointed out many times. Uh, on April 7th, that was the day that suddenly we all discovered that more black people and brown people were dying from this than white people. And, uh, and in fact, it's, it's, uh, it's in the neighborhood of 80% of all the deaths now are minorities or people who have you know, serious other conditions. And only about 20% are, are white people and, uh, who are not elderly and who are dying. And, and so at that point, the Trump administration, and there have been a couple of good stories about this, they were one day scandals that then kind of dropped into the, into the, into the memory hole. But you know, that then the Trump administration said, well, hey, if it's killing black people and it's killing people in blue states, and that was the argument apparently that Jared Kushner made, it's killing people in the blue states. Why are we bothering to come up with a national program? And so they abandoned it in the middle of April and said, let's go for herd immunity. You know, it's going to kill off a lot of brown and black people and it's going to, and you know, the elderly, hey, that'll save us money on Social Security and Medicare and, and Medicaid. And so let's just do this. And that's what Trump basically said last night. Now, back in, uh, back some time before that, Trump had said something quite different. And uh, this was from five months ago. He said, and I quote, if we did follow that approach, he's talking about herd immunity, I think we'd have two million people dead. 
The UK tried it, the herd approach, okay, herd, and they tried it, and you saw what happened in the UK. It set them back a lot of time. It's been, you know, you're having a tough time. Other countries have tried it. Sweden is suffering greatly. I mean, Sweden is suffering greatly. Well, now he's got Scott Atlas in there, the uh, Fox News uh, radiologist, who does a great job of uh, doing television. But apparently, as a physician and certainly as an epidemiologist, in which he has absolutely no training, he's an idiot. And he's been promoting this idea of herd immunity. Well, even if we did herd immunity in the United States, which would mean probably at least two million deaths, and yes, most of those people who die would be older people, but even if we did that, you would have tens of millions of people and nobody's talking about this. I mean, I keep bringing up these scientific studies, uh, you know, you'd have tens of millions of people with permanent heart damage, strokes, dementia, chronic fatigue, and all the other long-term health conditions that we don't know how long they're going to last, but we know that people who got the infections back in February and March and April still have. Right? They still have heart disease. They still have uh, heart inflammation. They still have you know, organ damage in their, in their spleen and liver and kidneys. They still have damage to their eyes. They still have, you know, strokes in their brains. Some of them are still, you know, having to write post-it notes to remember things because their short-term memory is just shot, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, and then Atlas is saying, well, masks are not effective. Well, this morning, you know, Redfield, the, the head of the CDC said, you know, a mask is actually more effective than a vaccine. And he's absolutely right. If everybody's wearing masks, you know, basically you don't need the vaccine. That's how Taiwan reached the point where they have not had a case of community transmission in Taiwan since April 12th. We got our first case on January 20th. They got their first case on January 21st. And they have not had a case since April 12th and they haven't had a death in months in Taiwan because they did testing and contact tracing. But Trump, no, no, it's insane.